Are we live? Yes, Roger, we are live with the weekly tennis news. We switched from daily tennis news now to weekly tennis, tennis news. I'll give you an insight and recap a whole week of tennis so you're up to date. Today with the following topics, guys. We have Alcaraz winning the tournament in Indian Wells, such as Elena Rybakina. Then we have Novak Djokovic, also not allowed to play in Miami. We have Holger Rune backing up Medvedev about the court debate in Indian Wells. We have a new Davis Cup team captain for United States. Then Muratoglu talking about the best server in the tennis world. We have Radio Pelka saying doubles. No, we don't need that. Get that doubles uh, tournament off the calendar. Um, also, with an example of, for example, Nori uh, pulling out in Indian Wells and doubles. Then Rafa, big record, comes to an end 912 weeks in the top 10. Now drops out for the first time ever and tries to come back in Monte Carlo. And last but not least, Iga with a new sponsor, guys. And that's what we're going to talk about for a second. So we start with Alcaraz. Alcaraz back to world number one, winning uh, Indian Wells, beating Medvedev in straight sets. Very impressive run from uh, Alcaraz. Then uh, the same with the Rybakina. Impressive run. She kicked uh, Iga Shviantek's butt. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, taking her out in the semifinals and then winning also against uh, Sabalenka in the rematch of the Australian Open final. Great performance, Rybakina definitely won for the next Grand Slams in uh, Wimbledon, maybe also the French Open. But of course, Iga Halley favorite. Djokovic also not allowed to play in Miami. Not sure if he's uh, able to play in the end of the year. Most likely they loosen up the COVID restrictions, but for now he's out of Miami. Then the next one, Holger Rune backing up Medvedev with the courts. He's also not happy about the uh, the court conditions in Indian Wells, saying it was so slow. You have to you have to prepare for a clay court match if you go on that court in Indian Wells. So confirming what Medvedev already said. Then Bob Bryan is a new head coach of the Davis Cup team of the United States. He um, is following the job from Marty Fish, who, who uh, was the captain before. Then Murat Hoglu putting, putting out a list of the best servers in the world, and he puts Kyrgios on position number one. A big Instagram and Twitter thing went on after Ivan Ljubicic also said that Goran Ivanisevic, for example, is, is, is up there on the top. Uh, he puts Roger also there, of course, Isner and some other guys in the top five, but says Kyrgyz is the best server in the world and ever, like even in front of Pete Sampras, guys. What do you think? Leave it down in the comments below. Then Relio Parker with a big statement. He says doubles on the tour. We don't need that. Put doubles out. No one is watching it unless it's the Bob, Bob Bryan uh, and Mike Bryan brothers playing doubles. And he's not that wrong because uh, when we have seen, for example, the final in Indian Wells with the with the girls, with the women's, uh, and then it was uh, very uh, least like a few people watching, and then after that, semi-finals of the guys completely fully crowded, and uh, coming also to nor in Indian Wells we had. Uh, eight teams in the quarterfinals in doubles this is normal but three of the teams they went to the uh, quarterfinals without playing a match because such players as nori or Wawrinka had it having a tough battle in singles and then pulling out in doubles so that there's not even even a big um competition there yeah then sad uh <laughs> legend of the sport rafa nadal drops out of the top 10 for the first time after 902 weeks 902 weeks that time when Rafa went in the top 10, for example, Roger had four Grand Slams, or Alcaraz was two years old, or Djokovic was ranked 153. So it's a freaking long time. Big respect goes to Rafa. He's still injured. He tries to come back in Monte Carlo. That's what he's preparing to. And let's see and hope uh, that that is going to work. And last but not least, Iga Sviantek joining Roger Federer. In what? In the new clothing sponsor. You see it on the left side of Iga's chest. She's joining on the on running brand that uh, Roger has also the big uh, contract uh, shoe wise. Of course, Uniqlo, his uh, main sponsor clothing wise. And also Ben Shelton, the new upcoming star from the States is also wearing on. Guys, a lot of news, a lot of things happening. This was uh, my first weekly tennis news. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave it comments down below. What do you think about any topic of these? There were a lot of things that I talked and I'll see you up next in the next in the next weekly tennis news. Take care guys, love you and ciao ciao. Ciao 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 ciao. Ciao ciao.